Hey everyone, this is Gaurang Raje and in this video we'll be looking at 8051's assembly language programs for generating square waves of frequencies 10 kHz and 7 kHz using timers. So this is the first program which is generation of square wave of 10 kHz and we are in the output screen. So from the output of the logic analyzer we can verify the frequency. So if we set a reference line and then go to another point of the waveform, we can see that the frequency is approximately 10 kilohertz. So let's see how the program actually works. Starting from the start label, we are first assigning the P0.0 pin to the label OP, which we can reference later. Then to use the timer 0 in mode one, we are moving the data 01H to the TMOD register. Then, for the delay, we are moving the value D9H to TL0 and FFH to TH0. This is basically the timer register, which is a 16-bit register. In this case, the upper 8 bits will have the value FFH and the lower 8 bits will have the value D9H. So these set the delay by, by the fact that the counter will start counting up from FFD9 value to FFFFH. So once it reaches FFFFH, it will roll over back to 00H and it will set the flag TF0, which we can use to reset the clock. Now, uh, we can start the timer using the timer run bit TR0 for timer 0 and then we will be polling the flag TF0 again and again checking for the overflow condition. Once it has overflown, that is TF0 is set, we will change the value of OP by complementing it. This means that one half cycle is completed. For the second half cycle, we will clear the value of TF0 and jump again. Here we are again loading the register of timer 0 with the data value for delay and repeating this process. So this will be the program. Now to check how the delay is calculated, we can refer to these calculations. So starting with the frequency we want, which is 10 kHz, we can calculate the time period by doing 1 upon frequency, we get 100 microseconds. Now, the time delay for 50% duty cycle, which is the time delay of one half cycle, will be 50 microseconds. Now to calculate the decimal value for this time delay, we have to divide the time period by 1.085 microseconds. This 1.085 microseconds is the time delay of one machine cycle in 8051 model that we are using. By doing this operation, we get a data value of 46.08, approximately 46 in decimal. Then, to uh, then to get a data value that is to be pushed in the timer 0 register, we have to subtract n from 2 raised to 16. This is because timer 0 register is 16 bits and it will count up from this data value. So doing that we get 65490 in decimal or FFD2 in hexadecimal. Now we can see that FFD2 is different from the value which we used in the actual program which we had used as FFD9. This is to compensate for the other instructions that were present which would also cause some delay. Now for our second program which is generation of square wave of 7 kHz frequency using timer 0 in mode 2. We have this output screen. Here we can verify the frequency. We can see that it is 69,000, sorry, 6,929, which is approximately 7 kilohertz. Now, to get into the working of the program, we are first moving the data value 0 to H to the T mod register. This indicates we are using it in mode 2. 
Now, mode 2 is an auto reload mode of 8 bits. In this mode, we first copy some delay value, in this case BEH, to the TH register or TH 8 bits, and then that value is copied automatically to the TLX um, after every overflow condition. So in this case, when we move the value BEH to TH0, it will move that same value or copy it to TL0 after every rollover condition. So when we start the timer using set B TR0, we are starting it and then polling the TF flag as usual. When the TF flag is set, it would indicate that one half cycle has passed and we flip the OP bit which is again the output. Then we clear the TF0 flag and then we can directly jump to the year instruction. So we want a frequency of 7 kHz. Therefore we get a time period of 142.85 microseconds. For a 50% duty cycle, we have 71.42 microseconds of delay. For this, the data value will be 65.83 by dividing it by the delay value of one machine cycle. We can consider this as 66. For mode 2, we have 8 bits only. So we will subtract this n value by 2 raised to 8 and we get h value of BE. We can directly move this in the TH register. So this has been usage of timers of 8051 for generating square waves of 10 kHz and 7 kHz using mode 1 and mode 2 of timers respectively. Thanks for watching.